That's not how. What are we making today? Uh, we are trying to make some devil eggs here, okay. and uh, <laughs> and we're gonna complete our meal with some uh, pizza bread, and we'll have some salad. Uh, devil eggs. Uh, we're gonna scoop the yolk out of the center, and we're gonna uh, mix mix uh, some some ingredients here in the bowl with some mayonnaise and other things that we have. Let's see. Let's see what do we have actually here. We have some coriander, and what else is there? There is some red pepper. All right. We have green onion. That's right. We have some favorite tomatoes there, chopped into really small pieces. That's right. And we yes, have and shredded cheese. That's correct. There's some uh, baby greens that I got straight from my backyard. They're really Double. organic, trust me. And mushrooms over here. Yes, that's for your pizza bread. If you like some, if you're allergic to you know mushrooms or anything else, just feel free to take them off your menu. Or substitute it for something else. That's correct. And we have some pizza sauce. Uh, feel free to use some ketchup, people. Some people really like ketchup instead of pizza sauce. Do your experiment, do what you like. Okay. It's your own food. And we have some ranch. Ranch, why am I gonna use ranch? I'm gonna show you the later part. Uh, I have some mayonnaise to mix all the ingredients with. And what's this over here? <laughs> that's, that's garlic powder. Okay. I'm no, gonna do it. something with the ranch all and right. with the garlic powder. Okay. We're gonna know very soon. I have some uh, California tomato salad dressing. Yum. Yum, and that, that's gonna go with the salad. So, you know, uh, why don't you mix all the ingredients so that we can scoop them inside the eggs and put them in the oven so that they can bake quickly. Okay, so okay. I got the red pepper here. That's right. Uh, by the time I'm just gonna cut those eggs into halves and get them scooped out. Put some onion in there. So how do you like eggs? Um, not so much, but... Not much. Okay, I'll uh, see uh, okay. Eggs. Does anybody else in your family eat eggs? Uh, yes. You know, in some countries, people like to put fresh eggs onto their onto their hair. Well, they're quite healthy as well. They're quite healthy. Trust me, they have lots of protein in there. And, and these days, you know, there there's so much of breast cancer uh, and other kind of uh, diseases spreading around. And you know, people say that having an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That's true. If you have one egg a day, it's going to keep the breast cancer away approximately forty-four okay. percent. you. Oh, that's oh, not me. Okay. That's that science. That's okay. not even me. That's science. Alright, All right, so I have this mixed. out quickly. Alright, great. Can you put some mayo in there as well, please? Thank you. And feel free to put uh, salt and pepper as per your taste. And remember, if you want to make it spicy, feel free to put some uh, fresh jalapenos. Uh, you want chili flakes, you want hot sauce, Tabasco sauce. All up to you. Okay. I have these scooped out already. And when you have actually mixed those, Put those inside the devil eggs. Okay. Use the spoon to scoop them neatly inside. And what we are gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of this fresh grated cheese on top before putting it in the oven. All right, by the time you do that, I'm just gonna take a bread, spread some, pa uh, some of the pasta, it's a pizza sauce on top, so that we can put it all together in the oven at once. Yes. And if you want to uh, really oil the tray first, you can. It really depends. If you're sure it's not gonna stick to the bottom, it's fine. Don't put too much of the pasta or the pizza sauce on it. Some people don't like it too much. I love sauce, so you can So do I. Love Trust me, uh, I'm gonna put some ketchup on too if I had some. Uh, I'll all skip right. Ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> well, and salsa is a great combination as well. Oh, that's true. Salsa, yeah. Yes. It's gonna be spicy, a little bit of Mexican flavor in there. It's great, it's great. I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheese on top of the deviled eggs. There you go. That's they look yummy. Good. They, they taste yummy as well. And if they don't, I know where you live. <laughs> yeah, you can kill me for sure. <laughs> All right, I'm done with this. Uh, the best thing is, you can use the same mixture on top of the pizza bread. Oh. You don't have to make another mixture. So that's the beauty of it all. That's so why that I started that simultaneously. Absolutely. Okay, so. And I, I'm actually going to surprise you with one more thing that you might not have tasted before. Okay. And uh, I'm going to do it right here. We can just take the same, uh, you know what, this is a whole whole wheat bread. So it's again, it's healthy. So whatever we are doing it and uh, doing here is absolutely healthy. This is healthy eggs, hard boiled eggs. Even the mayonnaise? Well, you can use the light one. Okay. So uh, there's, there's eggless mayonnaise available as well in the market. So yeah. go for that. What I'm gonna do is, uh, some people don't like uh, pizza sauce, pasta sauce, so we have a supplement. So, I'm just gonna take any spoon, take some ranch, spread it around the bread, make sure it goes all to the corners, 
Again, make sure you don't put too much of anything. It's gonna spoil the taste. There you go. And here is our garlic powder. That's Many it. of the people, especially in Canada or any of the Western countries, they don't like garlic too much. Make sure you put like a pinch of it. Spread it around nicely. I think it needs a little bit more. There you go. It's, it's gonna taste awesome. I don't have oregano with me. Some people like it with That's oregano. That would be a very nice combination, mm -hmm. trust me. And before putting any of the vegetables on top, I'm gonna to put a little bit of uh, cheese at the bottom, just like a pizza is. And it's up to you. Some people like it overcooked, some people don't like it overcooked. It's all up to you, whatever you wanna do. So just a bit of cheese, nothing too much. Can you please help me put some veggies on top of it? Yes. And this there is a go. really easy meal to it is. do what Super. you want with yeah, it. Yeah, it's you very add easy. Add or take away anything. Exactly. So you like mushrooms? Yes, I do. I love Great. Mushrooms. You know what I try to do is sometimes saute mushroom, mushrooms on the side and then put them on top. Oh, so nice. with some oregano and other sauces, mm -hmm. tastes awesome. There you go. Just cover the bread to the corners. There you go. And a little bit of cheese on the top. I love cheese. So do I. I love dairy. I love dairy. There you go. You're almost ready. How much, how much time did we really take? Not long. <laughs> not at all, Definitely not at all. Definitely not a lot of prep time. Yes. What else? That's a plate for you. Yeah. Just make sure you use the bread. You're doing it correctly already. Uh, for the pizza bread. So that it can get cooked from the bottom and the top. Nicely. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna take both of them into the oven. Alright. How long does it usually take to get ready? Ah, uh, let's see. Usually it takes just five minutes. But you know, with my magic, oh, it's already done. <laughs> but I had already put a batch in so that there's, you know, we can save some time. Wow, they look great. So exactly the same. All sizzling and hot. We have this pizza bread. I'm just gonna put it on the cutting board. Side. Okay. So, thank you. Just cut into triangles. If you have a bigger knife, please use that. They're crisp, they're tempting, they're sizzling right now. These are kind of hot, so be careful when you're yeah, doing yeah. them. I really want to eat them right now. Ah, there you go. We have some salad already set in the plate. Just put it on the side. The baby greens, organic ones from the backyard. You know, uh, let's just throw in some eggs. They're too hot, let's just use these. You know, I haven't uh, really put them for too long. Some people like the cheese on the top to be crispy and brown in color. Mm -hmm. I don't really prefer that. It's all up to you. You can put it for longer hour, uh, longer minutes and uh, get it all crispier. And this is not that hot. I'm gonna put it on the side. Uh, how much would you like? That should be good. Should be good. Let's have one little piece. And would you like some? Salad dressing on top. Yes, please. Love this tomato. Californian tomato salad dressing. There you go. And there you have it. There you have it. Meal. Okay, and uh, if you have more recipes, please log on to closelook.com. Send us your recipes and we're going to present it right here on the TV for everybody to see. And even this kind of recipe, whatever we present here, you can always go back and check on our website what was there inside. So that was all for today. Thank you for watching. And we're gonna see you next time.